Namaste, friends. On this beautiful Easter Sunday morning, I wish to share with you all a beautiful meditation that came to me from Spirit, and I really think this will bless you today, and I hope that it gives you time for pause and time for reflection on what the message of Jesus' resurrection stood for, symbolically, on this very historical day. And when I say historical, I'm speaking of a spiritual perspective for our planet. Because Jesus was more than a rabbi, more than a Jew, more than a Christian. Jesus embraced all religions because Jesus was beyond all religions. Jesus was an Essene, and as we know, they were true metaphysicians, who taught a very esoteric form of progressive Judaism. And so these very ancient, almost mystery school teachings of that Christed figure, Brother Jesus, are so important today symbolically, vibrationally. And so I just want us to move forward into this meditation. And I pray that it blesses your spirit today. Let's begin. I ask us to just now get comfortable in our chairs, <clears throat> wherever you're seated in your home or your studio. Close those beautiful eyes. Place your hands in your lap in an upward position to receive grace that's all around you. We have an auric field about us. This is a spiritual emanation of our soul. And I want you to imagine or envision your auric field expanding with white light with every breath. Thank you, Spirit. I feel that. Every breath in. Let's do that. Take a deep breath in. And let that breath out. Very naturally. Again, deep breath in. Holding the light that we breathed in. Let that breath out. Maintaining the light vibration in our body being. Again, deep breath in. Pulling that light in. Holding. Letting the breath out. Letting out all worries and concerns and negativity for Mother Earth to receive and neutralize. Beautiful. Over these next few minutes, I just want to encourage us to Roll away the stone that hides any illusions, any wrong thinking in your minds that you are not good enough, that you have no value, that you are not worth listening to, that you are suffering in life, that God or maybe the Spirit is not strong in your life, not present in your life. Roll away that stone, allow the light of introspection to shine within I want you to begin to find where God's grace, where God's goodness has appeared in your life. Each day, each week, each month, each year of your life, begin to find the little things every day where God has touched you, where you can be grateful for something that sparks joy in your spirit. For something that makes you happy, that makes you just ooze with love, excitement, a moment to be grateful for. That's God's grace. And our Sunday morning metaphysical family here at the Metaphysical Chapel, we celebrate this message so often. so often. I'm grateful for my metaphysical family. I'm grateful for a great partner. I'm grateful for great friends. I'm grateful for the gift of healing, the gift of voice, 
the gift of speaking, the gift of leadership. I'm, I'm grateful for the gift of mediumship. I'm grateful for the gift of business management and entrepreneurialism. And I'm grateful for the beautiful beaches outside my doors. I'm grateful for the parrots that fly overhead that speak to me or the butterflies that visit my garden. Uh, those are the things that, uh, that are so beautiful that I'm grateful for. Find something beautiful in your life to be grateful for every day. Something little, begin small. I can feel that spirit, thank you. Because we have now begun to resurrect in our spirit out of that darkness of error thinking. And today is your Easter. Today is your resurrection. Is my resurrection, is our resurrection. The vibration on the planet today is one of resurrection. A moving from the state of darkness or illusion, what they call Maya. The illusion of life, the matrix. Moving from that darkness of ignorance to a state of blessed awareness, enlightenment. Today is your ascension in truth. Amen. And by your thoughts, by your words, by your actions, every day you bring God into manifestation on earth. You bring God into manifestation on your earth through your thoughts, your words, your deeds. Yes, you. Because you are divine creation. Divine, you are God in expression. Feel that truth in this moment. Feel the resonance in those words. Feel it through your whole being. Embody this truth today. Embody this light. Embody this light. And so it is. Take a deep breath in. And let that breath out. And I want us to affirm, I want us to feel these sacred words today. Repeat after me. Heavenly Father, Mother, God, Awaken the Christ Consciousness in me. Christ and I are one. Joy and I are one. Peace and I are one. Wisdom and I are one. Bliss and I are one. Peace and I are one. Because Christ and I are one. Christ and I are one. Christ and I are one. Mm. and just begin to return to the spirit within your body temple that beautiful body temple that you have been blessed with to make the incarnation to make the journey from spirit your home your eternal your eternal mansion we make this journey through the veil of life into this physical third dimensional vibration it's a hard vibration, challenging, emotional, turbulent, chaotic, disconnected feeling, isn't it? But we are blessed with the opportunity to incarnate in these body temples, these sacred body temples. We hold sacred space on earth and we manifest the light of truth, the presence of God in all that we do. And so knowing this truth, knowing that it's planted We've just planted that beautiful metaphysical seed in the garden of your mind.